Hey guys, and welcome back. We've got another McFarlane here to take a look at. We have got Batman this time. Now this Batman is that big buff old Bruce that we see from the Dark Knight Returns films. Part 1 and Part 2. Now, this one comes with a Build-A-Figure for the horse. And, yeah, the box has a little damage, but you know, it's all good. I'm going to open him up, take a look at him anyway. Looks like he's got some nifty little accessories and everything. I like this Batman. I'm excited to get him out, so let's go ahead and get him out. All right, so straight up out of the package and everything, you know, we've got the Build-A-Figure parts for some legs, the uh, tail there, some alternate hands, a nice little battery ring on a grappling hook thing. Then in the box, we've got a little card that comes with it. We've got a stand. So let's go ahead and pull him out. It looks like we've just got tape for these Build-A-Figure parts. But then on here and here, we've got a zip tie around the chest and a zip tie around there for the Build-A-Figure and then everything else, just tape. So let's go ahead and grab them out. One thing I hate about McFarland's packaging is like capes, they always put through the packaging and like, it's just a pain trying to get that out. You're gonna have to fold it over a little bit and then reshape it when you pull them out, but yeah. And there we have him all out of the box. Good to go. He is a pretty badass. Like, I've always been a sucker for the beefy Supermans. And the thing that's, like, really cool about this is that I think he's literally, like, the same size as, like, the regular, like, scrawny Superman. Like, not Supermans, Batmans. And, like, it's like an optical illusion, like, because of how thick he is and beefy he is. But he is exactly seven inches tall. I feel like some of those Batmans do go to about seven and a quarter after you add in, like, the full ear length and stuff. Because some of them have a little bit taller cowls and stuff. But I think all of them are right roughly around seven inches anyway. So it's, like, really cool because he looks like he's going to be shorter. Like, I kind of honestly expected him to stand about, like, 6.5 inches or something like that. But he stands right at that 7-inch mark. Now, he comes with uh, attached. He's got the kind of, like, open fist grips and everything. Then he does come with an alternate set of fists for each hand. And then he comes with this nifty little accessory here. You can put this in one hand, this in the other, and just kind of have him, like, you know, getting ready to throw it above his head or something. I did try to put it in his hand. His hands are really tight and everything. I do recommend if you get one that has, like, these super tight hands. Like, I kind of almost had to, like, cut apart, like, the thumb from the hand with the X-Acto knife. But... Like, some of them, like, they're touching so bad, like, you can't really get this in there. I would recommend doing, like, a heat gun or, like, you know, hair dryer or something. Just, like, heat up that hand a little bit just to pry it apart and everything. And, like, you should be fine after that. But detail on this guy, pretty sweet. I really like him. We've got lack of focus, apparently. Working with new camera, I apologize if this is not looking as good as usual because I feel I'm getting screwed out on this camera, honestly. But, might just need to figure out lighting better. Hopefully we get our videos back the way we want them. But, anyway, articulation, head, full swivel, ball joint seams, pretty nice. We have got these double shoulders here with the shoulder with the shoulder inside the shoulder. So we get that extra range of motion there because you got this shoulder piece inside there. And then this one on like your standard little gives you that overlap for that cape and everything. So you can actually move your figure really nice. But you got that full swivel, full arm reach. And we've got a single elbow here. It's not a double, so you're not going to be able to come up to your face or anything like that and of course we've got just like our ball top hands oh, those are so tight on there too oh yep just pegging them in oh, that's a nice tight joint though cannot be mad about that this is definitely one of the better ones I've seen so far 
for McFarlane in general. Like the, a lot of these joints, like are just like they're holding, like almost like ratchet like. But oh yeah, we do actually have ratchets. Oh look at that! I don't know if you can see. Let's see if we can fix this with the light here. You can see that right there we do got ratchets in the legs and it does feel like I was saying like up in the top it feels like we got a little bit of ratchet go work going on in there too so maybe because he's a little bit of a thicker boy they did decide to put that ratchet on there so oh yeah you can feel that in there too his knees got him too and his knees do have the double so you can kick yourself in the ass and then we just got our ball foot here Ooh, we got a toe. I almost didn't even see that. Ooh. Toe articulation as well, guys. Cool, cool. And those are tight, too. Those are really tight, and that sits really flush. Oh, I guess you can see it now that you notice it. I think it's the lighting I got going on here. But, yeah, no, this guy, super cool. Um, as for the Build-A-Figure parts, we've got the tail we've got the back legs it looks like i'm assuming these are going to be the back legs but we're not going to pull them out um we've got a few other pieces for the set of the build a figure and i think we're just going to do build a figure on its own video if we ever do complete that so thanks for your time guys i hope uh you like this figure as much as i do it's one of my one of my top favorite batman figures that i've gotten my hands on so far honestly like he's actually really sweet but thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you later.